All right, well, the transmission pan is off now. Just removed those 15 bolts and it came off. It was a little bit messy, but not too bad. Um, yes, yeah, so the next step is gonna be to undo the three bolts that hold in the filter, which is this thing here. Remove that filter and uh, we're gonna just replace the new one in its spot. Something you wanna be uh, aware of is in the new filter, it's a good idea to put uh, just a little bit of transmission fluid, it doesn't matter if it's new or old, around this uh, sealing gasket thing here. That'll help it seal better and it'll, it'll, yeah, it'll seal better and be easy to go on, easy to tighten up, so you always want to do that. So yeah, we'll just undo the three bolts, uh, you know, pull it off, push the new one back in. Simple as that. Well, there's the old filter and the new filter side by side. It's always a good idea before you attempt to install the new one to compare it next to the old one to make sure that you did indeed get the correct filter. And you can see they are a little bit different if you look at the, you know, the actual plating of it, but mostly they're the same. The, the main, uh, you know, hole of it is the same. The bolt mounts are the same, so it, it should do pretty good. So we're just going to go ahead and slam it back in there, then we'll um, clean up the pan and the gasket surfaces. Alright, filter is in, so next step is to clean the, clean the mating surfaces of the, uh, of the gasket where it's between the, the pan and the transmission itself. So, you'll probably, when you pull it off, depending on how long the, it's been since the pan's been off, there'll be different amounts of um, gasket that'll get pulled off and be left behind. On this, it came off pretty good. Uh, there's some tearing in the gasket there there and a big rip there and a big rip there. Ideally it comes off in one piece so you don't have any of the residuals left over. So what you're going to want to do is just, uh, it's pretty easy to do with your fingers really. If you've got good fingernails you can just pull the old gasket off and you want to, um, after you're done pulling it off, you can get some paper towels or a sponge or something or Brillo pad. Well, yeah, probably Brillo pad would be okay and just uh, get this so it's real smooth get all the debris and crap and rust and old gasket off I've already done it too you to uh, up here you have to do it up here as well where the gasket meets all where the bolt holes were where you took the transmission off you can see I've got that real smooth uh, none of the old gasket material left that's how it's gonna have to be on both sides so I'm gonna go ahead and just peel all this off and then um, get it you know so it's real clean real smooth and then we'll be uh, be able to seat up the the gasket and then we're going to put it back in the transmission. Alright, well kind of a stupid thing I did that I just noticed. There's a drain screw on these. So it's just a big old allen. So all you do is just loosen up that allen bolt and drain the fluid out. That would be the correct way to do it. Drain it out first then remove the pan. So yeah, you don't have to do the stupid thing like where it all drains out all over yourself. It's got a drain bolt. I don't think it did but I guess these transmissions do. I've got the uh, gasket surface real clean now. Another thing you're going to want to do is there'll be a magnet in here. Pull that magnet out. I've got in this bag where I've got all the bolts. They're all going to be want to cleaned off. Add the magnet too. When the magnet's nice and clean, put it back in, in the pan. You're going to also want to get the pan super clean inside of it. Remove all the grime and the, you know, little shards of metal and shit that will be in there. So yeah, we're going to clean that up really good. Then we're going to put the gasket back on and install it back in the transmission. The bottom of the pan is clean and the filter, not the filter, the magnet is clean, has been replaced. So now we're ready to put the gasket on, so you're going to want to get some grease together and just put a light layer of grease all along this joining surface here to get that nice and greasy. Well I laid down the grease on the pan surface and then I set the gasket on top of it and then I put all of the bolts through just to you know, map the gasket over the pan and set it in the grease. It also makes it easier for when you're putting it back into the into the transmission itself. I've also greased the uh, the pan mating surface on there, so it'll seal up good. So now what we do is it's easier with two people, but you can do it by yourself. You just go ahead and lift up the pan and start off the screws or the bolts rather into the transmission itself. And then you're going to tighten them up nice and even, Steven. Just go around, do one, like the, the opposite one, and then the one over here, and then back here like that. You're going to go around and tighten them up even. Not too tight, but nice and snug. 
And then after that, we're going to fill the transmission up with oil again. All right, transmission oil pan's back on now. Just, you know, tighten them up nice and even. So you'll do like one on this side and then the opposite one over there. And then you'll come over here and do one and then do the opposite. Just work all 15 of them evenly until they're nice and tight. Not too tight, but just nice and snug. And that's the hard part. Now, now we're just going to fill it back up with transmission fluid. Uh, I would recommend putting in just one quart and then letting it sit a few minutes and checking for leaks at the oil pan. So what you do is just open the hood and then there's this dipstick down here. Right, you know, there's rock cover, there's the battery. So it's right, a little bit to the right of the center and just pull it out. It won't read anything because there'll be nothing in there. Set it someplace clean. And then get a clean funnel. Stove it in there. Then add the first quart, and then after we're adding the first quart, we'll check for leaks. If there aren't any, we'll add a second quart, and then check the level, and hopefully it's good, but we'll see. Alright, that's the second quart in. No leaks, so I'm going to go ahead and take it down off the ramps, pushing it of course, not going to start the engine yet. I'm going to take it down off the ramps, let it settle out in the pan for a few seconds, then I'm going to check the level add whatever is necessary from the third bottle there, probably a little bit, maybe the whole thing, I'm not quite sure yet. And then after that we'll start it and we'll cycle through the gears, I'll show you how to do that. We're in the car now and it's off the ramps. The level is correct in the transmission but we're still going to have to start it and you know get the oil circulating through and then we'll check the level again. And it's starting to rain, oh joy. But So you put the car in park, go ahead and start it up. Get out rain man check for leaks there are none get back in shift to the gears in a random order make sure you wait till they actually engage so I'll go reverse then two then drive then L then reverse then park now I'm going to go through it in order now that it's cycled through all those gears. L, 2, D, neutral, reverse, park. Now, go out and look at the level again. God damn rain, man. Check for leaks. There are none. And then, yeah, pull the dipstick out while it's still running and check the level. And because it's raining, you're going to have to stop this video early. So that's how you change your transmission fluid on a Toyota Corolla A131L transmission. Thanks for watching.